first TV appearance was actually on this very show. After appearing on the Blame Game, our guest quickly became one of the biggest names in comedy. He's a huge star and an award-winning comedian. He fills stadiums and sells out arenas across the globe. Yes, the Blame Game does that for people's careers. For instance, next week, I'm appearing in the Arts Centre in Down Patrick. <laughs> Please welcome Scotland's finest, the fabulous Kevin Bridges! <laughs> Kevin has very kindly come back to help us celebrate our birthday. We were actually going to have a birthday cake, but sadly that didn't work out. <laughs> said to Asher's was. <laughs> Can I have a cake with the words, who do you blame for losing the day cake is? <laughs> no sense of humour in there. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's been ten years since the blame game started. People say Northern Ireland will never change, which is nonsense. I mean, pretty soon, if you're a Catholic and you go to Mass, you could end up sitting beside an orange man with an Irish passport. <laughs> Let's also be honest, ladies and gentlemen, 2016 has also been a pretty terrible year so far. Terrorism, storms, conflict, and worst of all, UTV have taken Julian Simmons off our screens. <laughs> yes, mainland ITV took over the UTV, and Julian was taken out of vision. You ask me, the Brits have gone too far this time. <laughs> this is the last straw. Cromwell, famine, the penal law, and now they pulled our Julian off. and our panel provides some very unreliable answers. So, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, you were asked to help us with some questions. We have some questions here from the audience. Who's to blame for making me stand outside in the cold for so long? I'm going to need DLA now. That's uh, Jackie and Porter Down. But with Jackie and West Belfast, you'd have DLA by now. Selling buck fast. <laughs> Quite a little arrogant, I would imagine. It's a little arrogant, Cahol and Lorgan. <laughs> Who's to blame for Simon Hamilton being the love child of Jerry Adams and Naomi Long? Translit metro buses still running late in spite of a bus lane on every f street of that. <laughs> Stuart and East Belfast, who will be here in 10 minutes. <laughs> so, what is our first question tonight? Our first question tonight is Who do you blame for Donald Trump? <laughs> ah, yes, the Donalds. The reality TV star with a dead beaver on his head who can actually lead the free world. Donald openly boasted about groping women. And he thinks he's a tough guy. Oh yeah? Well come on over here, Donald, and try it on with Arlene Foster. <laughs> You'll find I'd pay to see that. I'd pay to see that. You'll find it pretty hard to make America great again from a hospital bed in Alton Gelman. <laughs> Donald Trump was recently booed at a fundraising dinner organized by the Catholic Church. Seriously, when the Catholic Church can criticize their sexual peccadilloes, you know you've got them. <laughs> <laughs> but who can we blame for Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> and he's very confusing in Northern Ireland, though, because he's the only orange man who's also a Republican. It's quite confusing. He, he, he admits it. He said on uh, on air on a video that he groped women and that he grabbed them by the, their nether regions and said it's the most polite way possible. Quite a bit of genitals. Like. My theory is that if you grab him though by his own genitals, the hair just hinges up like that. And just, <laughs> you want know, you know, to stand on a pedal bin and you just go, more. You know what makes that noise? More. Like that. He's only 4% behind, in your opinion. He was brilliant. 